Okay guys, Niantic have been on the ball as we have the details for April events in Pokemon Go. Everything going down you need to know, so let's get right into it. So starting off with raid bosses, five star raids from April 4th to April 12th are going to be Kartana in the Northern Hemisphere and Celesteela in the Southern Hemisphere. So yes, exclusive Hemisphere raid bosses coming back. You can still remote raid the ones in the your other Hemisphere, but of course you're gonna have to use a remote raid pass and you can do like five a day. Both of those can be shiny by the way for the first time around this month. Next up, Tapu Bulu, April 12th to April 25th, which of course can be shiny and we'll know its new legacy move, Nature's Madness, which will help it out in the Master League. And then finally ending off on Registeel, April 25th to May 2nd, which again can be shiny and is a great Pokemon to raid. As far as Mega Raids, we're going to see Mega Charizard X from April 4th to April 13th, then switching into Mega Heracross, April 13th to April 25th. I believe Mega Heracross is going to be like the best bug type raid attacker in the game and you'll be able to raid this thing from anywhere to get Heracross, even though it is a regional. Then finally, April 25th to May 2nd will be Mega Agron. Finally, on weekends in April is going to be Shadow Entei in Shadow Legendary Raids. So definitely go ahead and do those as Shadow Entei is a great fire type raid attacker. Now, of course, we're going to have raid hours every single Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m. for the current raid boss. You can check those out on screen. And then in terms of spotlight hours, every Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m., we're going to see exclusive Pokemon in spotlight hour with a special bonus. April 2nd is going to be Zubat with the bonus of two times transfer candy. So transfer your Pokemon then. April 9th will be Krogunk with two times evolve XP. April 16th will be Caterpie, Weedle, and Wurmple all in spotlight hour at the same time with two times catch Stardust. April 23rd will be Trubbish with two times catch XP. Trubbish, by the way, gets you 750 Stardust per catch, so a great spotlight hour there. And April 30th will be Clefairy with two times catch Candy. So overall, some decent-ish spotlight hours there. The Trubbish is the main one you want to play. Finally, other events in April, we're going to see the sizable surprises event going down April 4th to April 9th. I will, of course, have a tips video coming out next week about that event. April 7th is going to be Bag On Community Day Classic from 2 to 5 p.m. Do not miss that event. April 12th to 17th is going to be the Bug Out event, probably featuring some exclusive bug spawns with, of course, Mega Heracross debut. And talking on Mega Heracross, we do have April 13th from 2 to 5 p.m., a Mega Heracross raid day. So if you want the shiny Heracross, this is the event to play. We're going to have boosted shiny odds. You get a bunch of Mega Energy. This is a great event. April 20th will then be April Community Day, which we still don't know what it is, but we'll have to wait and see from 2 to 5 p.m. April 22nd to 26th will be Sustainability week event, probably featuring some sort of new shiny. Cool. We'll have to wait and see about that. And then April 28th will be the hatch day from 2 to 5 p.m. So interesting, no spring into spring event coming this year. Seems like they have, you know, are skipping that this year. Nonetheless, that is April events in Pokemon Go, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of them. What are you excited about? And stay tuned, of course, for tips, videos, and counter guides coming out about all of these raid bosses and all of these events. If you enjoyed this video, watch the one below as you will enjoy that one as well. Peace.